without prejudice, i.e., all fundamental rights reserved. Awak Indian Nation, in America. House of Dallas. Executor's Office, Linton O'Neill X. 232-2 East Greater Portmore St. Catherine, American Island of Zamayaka, Jamaica pursuant to the OAS. In the Supreme Court of Judicature of Jamaica. Linton O'Neill. Claimant. Versus. Kirk Roach, Tyrone Walker. Byron Martindale, Kirk Weston, Richard James Ayub. Defendants. Case No. Re, trespass upon real and personal property, pursuant to the Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedoms, Constitutional Amendment, Act 2011. Case of Reference, CA 2019 TR 161443-48. Incidents occurred on November 30, 2019. I. Introduction and Parties 1.1. I. Linton O'Neill, the undersigned claimant, herein after claimant, or I, understand that I have the right of complaining to a prosecuting authority rather than signing this affidavit, but I elect to use this method to start criminal proceedings. I understand that the following are some, but not all of the consequences of my signing a criminal complaint. 1. The defendants may be arrested and placed in custody. 2. The arrest if proved false may result in a lawsuit against me. 3. If I have sworn falsely, I may be prosecuted for perjury. 4. This charge will be prosecuted even though I might change my mind. 5. Witnesses and complainant will be required to appear in court on the trial date regardless of inconvenience, school, job, etc. 1.2. The attached notice in the form of an affidavit and other exhibits are incorporated by this reference as if fully restated herein. Defendants to this criminal complaint are as follows. Defendant Byron Martindale Constable No. 13172 is the private employee of the Public Traffic Enforcement Branch to the Municipal Corporation i.e., the Government of Jamaica, who assaulted and falsely arrest and imprisoned the complainant by the roadway on November 30, 2019. Defendant Tyrone Walker Corporal No. 13905 and Kirk Weston Constable No. 14422 is the private employee of the Municipal Corporation who aided and abetted Byron Martindale in the false arrest and false imprisonment of the claimant by the roadway on November 30, 2019. Defendant Kirk Roach Detective Sergeant No. 424 is the authorized officer responsible for the actions of these men on November 30, 2019. Byron Martindale Constable No. 13172 is the officer that handcuffed and placed claimant under arrest and imprisoned by the roadway, before claimant was allowed to see a magistrate. Defendant Richard James Ayub Clerk of Court No. 3119 is the public prosecutor present at claimant's first hearing and liable for the actions at court. Defendant R. M. Edwards is the magistrate who presided over claimant's first hearing. Inquire to prosecution for personal info. 1.3. The following is a true statement and accounting of the events that led to the filing of this claim. I have not consulted with a prosecuting authority concerning these incidents because they in fact will be named in a future complaint for bringing false charges against this man. 2. Facts and Exhibits 2.1. Claimants' Exhibits, A through C, attached here to are incorporated by this reference as if fully restated herein and are as follows. Exhibit A, Affidavit of Probable Cause Produced by Byron Martindale. Exhibit B, Incident Report Produced by Kirk Roach. Exhibit C, Claimant's Notice in the Form of an Affidavit. Nature of Trespass. 2.2, On November 30, 2019, while traveling within the territorial limits of Zamayaka, or Jamaica, Tyrone Walker, Byron Martindale and Kirk Weston private employees of a municipal corporation, in their official capacities as corporal and constables for the persons doing business as the Public Safety and Traffic Enforcement Branch, acting or purporting to act under color of law or color of employment, or taking advantage of such actual or purported capacity, did intentionally trespass upon claimant's fundamental rights and freedoms and impede I, a man, in the exercise of and enjoyment of following. 1. The inherent right to travel unrestricted and unencumbered, pursuant to the Constitution as amended 2011 Section 13, 
subsection 3 f2 and 2 the inherent right to peaceable possessing and protecting property pursuant to the constitution as amended 2011 section 15 subsection 1 and 3 the right to due process of law pursuant to the constitution as amended 2011 section 16 knowing his own misconduct to be unlawful to wit 2.3 byron martindale without warrant or probable cause, abrogate, abridged and infringed upon my fundamental rights and freedoms by the arbitrary seizure of my property without due process of law. 2.4. I travel in my personal private automobile with my personal decal affixed to the front and back, which constitute public notice. I present a world passport as identification without the jurisdiction of the state. In addition to notifying and warning Byron Martindale of the consequences of his assumed commercial liability of contracting with Linton O'Neill Dallas Estate, by which Byron Martindale consented by way of the endorsement in his own hand, cf. See Exhibit C, page 4. 2.5. All acts claimed here shall be deemed to have been committed under color of law, and committed knowingly, intentionally, and willfully and with full and prior knowledge of the law and the facts applicable, relevant, and germane to the incident claimed herein. All paragraphs in this claim shall be deemed to have been incorporated into each other paragraph. Allegations of abrogation, abridgment and infringement upon fundamental rights and freedoms are as follows. 3. Obligations of the State. 3.1. Pursuant to the Constitution as amended 2011, Section 13 subsection 1a The state has an obligation to promote universal respect for and observance of human rights and freedoms and section 13 subsection 1b All persons in Jamaica are entitled to preserve for themselves and future generations the fundamental rights and freedoms to which they are entitled by virtue of their inherent dignity as persons and as citizens of a free and democratic society For purpose of the constitution as amended 2011 4.1, Section 13 Subsection 1c, All persons are under a responsibility to respect and uphold the rights of others recognized in this chapter. The following provisions of this chapter shall have effect for the purpose of affording protection to the rights and freedoms of persons as set out in those provisions, to the extent that those rights and freedoms do not prejudice the rights and freedoms of others. v. Guarantees protection and restrictions of the state. 5.1, Section 13 subsection 2a, this chapter guarantees the rights and freedoms set out in subsections 3 and 6 of this section, and in sections 14, 15, 16 and 17, section 13 subsection 2b, Parliament shall pass no law and no organ of the state shall take any action which abrogates, abridges or infringes those rights. The defendants directly abrogates, abridges and infringes upon the fundamental rights we the people retain, secured and guaranteed protections in the Jamaica Bill of Rights i.e., the Constitution as amended 2011, as well as a number of state and federal laws, to wit, the defendants intentionally impeded, hindered, prevented or denied unalienable rights, and so violated these protected rights of the claimant, and simultaneously violated their own code of professional conduct in breach of their bond and public oath of office, committed not only against the claimant, but also against the peace and dignity of the people of Jamaica. Their combined organized and coordinated actions constitutes criminal conspiracy. 6. Conclusion 6.1. Claimants' authorities and evidence on the record require either that the defendants prove claimants' due process rights exclude rights to purge resisting and obstructing, prove he had no lawful excuse or act as the law requires and move to cause criminal charges of the kind alleged herein to be brought against defendants Byron Martindale Constable No. 13172, Kirk Weston Constable No. 14422, Tyrone Walker Corporal No. 13905, Kirk Roach Detective Sergeant No. 424 and Richard James. Ayub Prosecuting Clerk of Court No. 3119, in the mere service of the public's best interest. The people of Jamaica will either see these defendants stripped of their offices, their benefits, their liberty, and their pensions, or they will watch as their servants ignore the law, placing their fellows in crime above the law of the people. 6.2. If the provisions allegedly violated are to mean anything, if the Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedoms, the Constitution as amended 2011 is to mean anything, this court must provide remedies for constitutional and statutory violations. 
These remedies should include injunctions, compensatory and penal sanctions, the tools courts traditionally have used to bring about compliance by allowing through its judgment the distraint provided for by such laws as are within any respective subject matter jurisdiction. Defendants hereto are hereby placed on notice of their Fifth Amendment rights against incriminating themselves, no other notice will be provided. 7. Certification. Any matter is required or permitted to be supported, evidenced, established, or proved by the sworn declaration, verification, certificate, statement, oath, or affidavit, in writing of the person making the same, such matter may, with like force and effect, be supported, evidenced, established, or proved by the unsworn declaration, certificate, verification, or statement, in writing of such person which is subscribed by him, as true under penalty of perjury, and dated in substantially the following form. 7.1. I, Linton O'Neill, claimant hereto, do hereby declare under penalties of perjury under the amended constitutional laws of Jamaica that the foregoing accounting of facts are true and correct to the best of my knowledge. I hereby declare that the exhibits attached hereto are true and correct, they are authentic, and they have not knowingly been misrepresented in any way. 7.2. I believe the defendants have violated the 2011 amended constitutional laws as alleged above, and it is my intent herewith to seek criminal charges against defendants and each of them for the purposes of having them sanctioned to the full extent of the law. 7.3. The above affirmation was subscribed and duly sworn to before me this. Day of August, 2021, by Linton O'Neill. I am a justice of the peace under license from the government of Jamaica, and be it known by my hand and my seal as follows. Justice of the Peace Signature Executed this Day of August, 2021 By Linton O'Neill Copyright slash copy claim August 12, 2021 Exhibit A, Affidavit of Probable Cause Produced by Byron Martindale 